I feel like I should be running around, jumping around like that guy does on the commercial where the kids are going back to school. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I love doing these videos. Let's get into it because I'm super excited to be doing yearly favorites. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're just doing face products or base makeup products without foundation because I decided that I had tried so many foundations this year that I needed to do a dedicated video to that. And so this is everything else that goes on your face. Let's start off with what we always do at the beginning. We put on primer. I want to give a shout out to this MAC. This is the Skin Refined Zone Treatment. Ever since I found this, and again, if you didn't hear from my last video, this is one I, that I found from Mel's channel very recently, and she swore by this, and this was one of her Ride or Die products. This isn't like a primer that you use all over the place. This is like a targeted primer, just for your large pores, and I press these in, and this has quickly become my favorite product to use and I never forget it because when I do these pores around this area look so refined completely diminished it just gives an airbrushed look to my face I love that stuff now for primer I kind of broke this into two categories one that were just smoothing primers and then the other one that were illuminating primers of course i've talked about tatcha so much this year this is the liquid silk canvas um primer and i think this is phenomenal it is very silky on your skin it just makes your makeup look absolutely airbrushed i am wearing it on this side of my face today i did kind of break this up because i was doing high end and drugstore and so I tried as much as I could to keep those separate and do each of those on my face too as much as I could. So the Tatcha is absolutely gorgeous, silky, just melts into your skin. It is it's beautiful. I'm so glad that I tried that this year. And then the Revlon Prima Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. This I feel like is just a tiny bit thicker than the Tatcha, but I am wearing it on this side of my face. And again, I feel like it gives that beautiful, just smooth, silky canvas, really refining on the pores. I've loved both of those so very much. And then for illuminating, I did try the Flower Beauty Celestial Whip. This is a beautiful primer as far as just lighting up your face. When you start to work with this, you're like, well, that's just wet is what you feel off of it. But as you're working it in, you can tell that it has that little bit of a priming lighting look to it. It does have the smoothing to it and it is very pore refining, but more than anything, it's just that beautiful illumination. And I really have enjoyed using that. And then the other one is from Revlon as well. This is their Rose Glow and this is their hydrating and illuminating primer. This is much, much thinner than the other one that I just showed you but it definitely has those same properties. I don't feel like this one is as glowy as the Flower Beauty one, but it definitely gives that hydrated, illuminating look to it. I do feel like this one has a little bit more of a glow to it, and this is a little bit more smoothing, and this one is more hydrating. The Revlon is more hydrating. So that's the difference in those two, but I enjoy both of those a lot and they're great primers. And then stepping into color correctors, you know my ride or die color corrector is from Pixie. That one is fabulous. The brightening peach is amazing, but I did find one from Believe Beauty that is their color corrector, and this is their light medium one. So this is from the drugstore. This one I believe is like only $4, and it is such a good one. It's approximately the same consistency as the Pixie, maybe just a little bit more dry, not by much though. And the reason that I like that is because it is very opaque. And so if you're somebody that has super duper dark circles like I do, you're going to really enjoy that one. And then I also wanted to show you the one that I have from Charlotte Tilbury. And this one is in, I think this one is in medium. And the reason that I chose this is during the summertime, I needed something a little bit 
darker than just that normal peach color but if you look at the two of those um let me just swatch this one right next to that believe beauty one if you look at the two of them you can see a little bit difference but underneath your makeup you're not going to see any difference at all this one is much creamier than the believe beauty one it's more emollient if you have super dry under eyes you might like this one a bit more than either the pixie or the believe beauty one this one covers like crazy it's really good it's a great opaque formula however i do find that if you use too much of this you're going to have a problem with your concealer creasing on top of it because of how hydrating it is or how emollient it is it's a beautiful product i love using it but i have to be careful about not using it in the summertime because that's when i do sweat underneath my eyes a little bit so both of those are beautiful let's talk about priming waters my ride or die for years and years has been max fix prep and prime plus this is just one of those that i use every single time i do my makeup i will either spray it before i start my other primer or i will spray it onto my sponge as i'm doing my foundation which is my preferred way to use this i use these all the time all the time love it but covergirl at the end of this year came out with the clean and fresh skincare this is priming glow mist it hydrates it says eight hour hydration and it has rose water vitamin c in it as i get down to the finer print i can't read everything that it says on there it says true clean cactus water for all skin types so this is a really good one i love using this before i use my primer it's just that burst of hydration underneath that primer to keep my skin looking plumped up right before I do all of the rest of my makeup. So this has been really nice. I'm not really somebody that is hypersensitive to fragrance. So this does have a little bit of the rose fragrance in it, but it just hydrates and it's wonderful and I have loved it. If you've been watching me for very long, you know that I am somebody that does the powder right between priming and foundation. I do that little light dusting of powder that Wayne Goss talked about. And I love to do it with this Fenty Beauty powder this one is the lavender color and i love this powder not only because it's super duper fine but i love the lavender shade of it because it does on fair skin it gives a very brightening look to your skin if you have dull sallow skin so going underneath my foundation it kind of lifts my complexion even before i put foundation on I really like this. Remember that if you're going to try that, I'll make sure that I leave that video linked down below. But please remember, if you're going to try that, a very tiny, tiny amount is what you need. Otherwise, you're not going to like the technique. You want just a small amount. And then if I'm going to recommend a drugstore loose powder, it has to be the e.l.f. Halo powders, Halo Glow powders. These are so good. They come in a range of different colors. It comes in a just a translucent, but I use this pink one for the same reason um, that I just love that it gives that beautiful brightening effect to my skin and makes my skin a little bit more alive. This one is the medium one and it has kind of a golden um, tint to it. I use this one in the summertime when I'm a little bit more tan doing myself tanner It's great as well. This isn't a glowy powder. So, you know, it definitely has the characteristic of being Illuminating but it doesn't have a glow in it. No shimmer. No glowy metallic look to it It's just a pretty setting powder and then let's switch over to pressed powders That is what this one does from number seven. It's called the lift and luminate pressed powder I put it in here because there was no other pressed powder that impressed me this year. This has been in my um, favorites for about three years now. This is one of the most beautiful pressed powders. There, you don't get a ton up. I mean, there is some there. You're going to get, you know, you're going to be able to set your makeup, do whatever you need, but it has this just a property of being lighting without the glow again like the elf halo what i like about a pressed powder for mature skin is when you use a pressed powder you know that they had to use something to press it and keep it in there instead of a loose powder is just an airy light powder they use something something maybe emollient something that they use to press this in which is easier i think 
on mature skin than an actual loose powder. So if I'm going to use anything to set my makeup, it's going to be a pressed powder and it's either going to be the number seven lift and illuminate or it's going to be the Kosas. And Kosas did come into my life this year and this is phenomenal. I reach for this every time I do my makeup now. It's what I have on today. Actually, I have the number seven on this side and the Kosas on this side and it is very light, very airy. It feel has that pressed feeling again of just melting into the skin, blurring the pores, making them look absolutely flawless. This is one product along with the Kosas Revealer Concealer that I felt like were total game changers this year. Now, if we're gonna talk about illuminating powders, I'm going to reach for one of the new ones to me. It's the Physician's Formula Rose All Day. This is a duo setting powder and a balm in here. So you can use this, um, this balm-like product, which is really like a lip gloss balm. You can use that one across your cheeks on top of or before you use this powder. And this is the one that is the star of the show for me. And hopefully Hopefully you can see that beautiful rose embossing in there. I did just put this in a, into a video very recently. This has the beautiful lit from within glow. And I just put this into the middle. That's what I do with my glowy powders. I don't use them all over because I feel like it gives too much of a glow. But this one just gives just the perfect amount of light without being chalky and not being like you look greasy afterwards kind of thing. It's beautiful. And then on the opposite side of that, the luxury or the high-end side is the Hourglass Ambient Infinity Powder. And I've loved this one too. This is like a hybrid between their ambient powders and their highlighter powders. And so it has a beautiful glow to it as well without having, again, any sparkle, any, you know, shimmer, anything like that. It just gives a beautiful, bright glow to your skin. And again, I'm using it in this area right here, not all over as a setting powder. And then to round everything out, we're looking at setting sprays. And again, I didn't have a new setting spray from the drugstore, but Flower Beauty Seal the Deal. These are phenomenal. This one is the hydrating one. I love these sprays. If you want a dewy finish, they do have a dewy one. And if you want a matte finish, they have that. These are so good. I absolutely love these. The hydrating one is perfect for me with my dry skin. It just seems to help with melting all my makeup together, especially the powder products. You know, we can look a little bit powdery after we put on any sort of pressed powder or loose powder. So it really helps to melt everything together. This has been in my favorites for a couple of years now as well, but I do have two new luxury ones and I couldn't choose just one. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray I've talked about many times and I love that this has little polymers in it that give that blurring property, but the Professional Super Setter from Benefit, this one has little powder particles in it that help to give an airbrushed look to your face. So either one of these, I will switch all off. Um, in the summertime, I kind of lean more towards the benefit, um, but I like it in the winter as well. I use it all the time anyway. I just, it's kind of what's in front of me. I can be happy with both of these. They both give that very blurred, flawless look to your skin and especially mature skin. And that is the end. That is the last product for face products. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing, like I told you, it will be blush, highlighter, bronzer, contour, and I'm going to be doing a foundation all by itself, and then I'm going to do skincare and hair care together. I might do an odds and ends one where th things that I just didn't fit into these videos or things that I found that I felt like were very in innovative this year. Would you guys like to see that one? Let me know. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me. I hope everybody is doing really well. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out of here. It does help me so very much and I appreciate it more than you know. Take care of yourselves. I'll catch you in the next installment of the 2021 Yearly Favorites in Beauty. Let's all meet together here in my very next video. Love you much, my friends. Bye.